These step-by-step -step instructions will guide you through changing the Phase 3 backrest to a Phase 3 XP backstrap system. We'll also add a hip pad kit for a snugger fit. Here's the backstrap kit. It comes complete with hardware to add this system to just about any kayak. Here's the hip pad kit. It can also be added to many different models of kayaks. These are the tools you'll need. For more information, watch the Tech Tools and Removing a Kayak Seat video. First step is removing the backrest uphaul toggle from the front of the seat. Untie the knot inside the toggle and release the chrome button. Now you can pull the rope free at the back part of the seat. Cut the shock cords that hold the seat upright. Release the hinge clip on the right side at the base of the backrest. This is like a wristwatch strap clip. Push in the hinge as shown. Remove the rear two seat screws using the deep socket or the 7 16 inch tech tool wrench and a number 3 Phillips head screwdriver. Once the screws are removed, you can pull the straps free and remove the backrest. Grab the nail with the vice grips and heat it up with a torch. You'll want to melt bigger holes in the three small straps in the kit to make screw insertion easier. Reheat your nail and melt through the bottom of the seat as shown. This is for the lower strap attachment point. Insert the screw and washer through the strap and attach to the seat. Now take a small piece of duct tape and attach to the back side of the wrench to hold the lock nut. Insert the wrench and nut through the larger hole in the seat and thread onto the screw and tighten. Next drill two small holes in the inner edge of the cockpit combing and attach the straps. Using a standard screwdriver, gently pry up on the deck and reinsert the metal ends and realign. Now insert the seat screws. To reinstall the washers and lock nuts, it's best to tip the boat up on edge or upside down to use gravity to help you hold things in place. Tighten with the tech wrench. This is shown in more detail in the removing a seat video. Now adjust the webbing strap system and you're done. Let's take a closer look at the Phase 3 components and reinstall them. You'll have to remove the seat by removing all four seat screws. Once all four screws are removed, twist the seat sideways to remove. To reinstall the Phase 3 backrest, thread the rope back through the seat. Now fit the spring button back into the hinge and reinstall. Thread the rope under the seat and into the forward chrome fitting. It may take some effort and needle nose pliers help thread the rope through. Thread the bungee cords back through the holes in the seat and retie. Twist the seat back into place and realign. At this point, it is easy to reposition the seat either forward or aft by re-drilling the holes in the seat using the original holes in the deck. Use the screwdriver and awl to help get everything aligned. Once you get the backrest and leg lifter straps aligned with the seat and deck holes, reinsert the four seat screws. Now all that's left is tying off the forward uphaul toggle and you're done. If a more snug fit is desired, the hip pad kit really completes the package.
Position the Velcro tabs on the seat where the pads will line up to fit your hips best. On most seats, this is just above and below the seat access hole. Once the position is marked, using the Velcro strip as a guide, drill holes in the seat and pop rivet the Velcro tabs onto the side of the seat. The pads can be adjusted by adding more foam shims into the zippered pocket on the back side of the pad. The pads are marked right and left and simply strap onto the seat. Thread the straps around the side of the seat and through the buckle, then tighten. There you have it, a custom fitted seat that is comfortable and gives you lots of support.